Alrighty then, so today's look is actually inspired from a face chart that I found from Artistry Is Everything. I'm going to start out by gluing down my eyebrow. Um, Y'all know I'm not the best at this, and you know, it wasn't that good this time around, but I'm just taking a glue stick and gluing my brow hairs down and then combing them up with this spoolie. And now I'm just going to set that with a whole bunch of powder and brush away the excess powder. Now, as you can see, it didn't, it didn't turn out that well, but I fix it later on or get around that. Anyway, so I'm going to start painting my face now. And this is where I went wrong, where I almost just cut the entire look, just gave up. The paint was too wet on my face. So as you can see, when I go in with the beauty blender, it's pretty diluted. It's really patchy and all that other stuff. And I was really considering just washing it off, but I knew if I did, I wouldn't try it again. So I was determined to make this work. So I threw in some snazaru paint and just kept going until I had some type of even base. Like this. Now I'm using the Carity 21 Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to set my face with the orange shade. Now you'll see my face is orange yellow. That's because the Snazaru paint had some yellow in it that I didn't realize until I put on my face. And at that point it was just, you know, yellow. I can't explain this little dance break here. So I'm gonna start drawing the curves of the pumpkin and I am just doing straight lines that kind of aren't really straight or the same width or anything like that, which kind of bugged me at first, but it kind of works out later on when it comes to shading the pumpkin. Oh, also uh, you could probably tell um, the skin part, you know, the part of my face that's pulled up that's still supposed to look like human um i did my makeup off camera it's literally just foundation concealer regular everyday makeup now i'm going to start filling that in with black paint Now for the eyes, I am going to just kind of connect the lines from section to section if you can see what I'm trying to get at here. I didn't do like one big circle or anything like that. It kind of looks like the POW symbol if you were looking at a comic book, but I went uh, section by section so that I could make it as close to the face chart as possible. And now I'm just going to fill it in with black paint as well. I'm going to set any part of my face that has some color to it with the eyeshadow that matches it. So I did orange with orange and now I am doing black with black. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the mouth going section by section, just kind of doing these curves and connecting them to get something that I like here. Oh, and I also did an eye portion on the other side of my face as well that you can kind of see sticking out underneath my left eye. And fill that in. like the bat symbol. Batman symbol?
Now to start the shading process, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm kind of just pulling on the paint that's there to create some shading. I guess that's the best way that I can explain it, but I'm not adding anything onto my face. I'm literally just using the paint that's already on my face and just kind of dragging it. Now taking the yellow from the Carity palette, I'm gonna start highlighting the pumpkin. So I'm going in the middle of each section and just throwing some yellow down. I'm gonna go over that yellow with this Fenty highlighter just to uh, give it more of a glowy effect. And now I'm gonna start shading with the red from the Carity palette. Now, what I mentioned before about the lines not being straight, I didn't do just like oval shaped shading. I kind of shaded based on the size of the lines that I was shading. So as you can see, they're not all the same shape. So, you know, play around with it, you know, see what works for what you've drawn on your face. Now I'm throwing in some brown in some sections there. And then I'm going to shade over all of the lines on my face with black eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go over that line that separates my skin and the pumpkin with black paint. Yes, black face paint from the Mayron palette. Now for the folds on my face, I'm using the shade that I actually used to contour to create some of those folds. Not gonna lie, by this point, I, I got pretty lazy here. This could have been better, you know, take your time if this is something that you do want to recreate yourself, but uh, yeah, your girl rushed through it. Now I'm just shading all of the lines that I drew on the ends. And I also ran a line of black paint through each fold. Not sure why, but I did. I don't know. And you also want to highlight the folds again, you know, uh, take more time with that. And now I'm just going to throw some eyeliner around my one eye and pop on my wig. And that is it for my pulled up jack-o-lantern halloween look if you put your fingers on there it's a little bit more realistic um i hope you guys liked it and yeah i will see you in the next one